friends. This is America, November 6, 2008. You got what you wanted, didn't you, friends? We warned you. We told you that what was going to expect. Here in Chicago, we've got Billy Ayers and Jeremiah. We warned you about this, and here we are. We're at this little dive hellhole of a place. The kind of musicians that perform at a place like this. Devil in a woodpile. Every Tuesday night, devil in a woodpile. You got Oh Death playing here this month on a Sunday. Oh Death. And Sarah and I were pro-life. That's the way we went this election. You've got... He just got a lot of ironically named bands okay, that I could do. <laughs> My friends, you got what you wanted. You got your big Stalinistic picture of the great deer leader on the front of the tavern number 1354 now, don't you? This is the socialist, communist, multiple sexual, animal, bestiology kind of place you wanted. All right, and now you even get poets and homosexuals. The homosexual. No, my name's not Martin Luther King. I'm going to read a poem now, written by a wonderful chap called Fax Douglas, that I'm sure is familiar to some of you. And I've been singularly impressed in meeting him, you know, because I have a very wonderful relationship with words. When I was a child growing up in the north of England, being beaten by nuns and Irish Christian brothers, words used to appear in the window of my imagination and say, Bruno, I'm your new friend. If you befriend me, you can fly away forever with me. So, anybody that has a magical association with words is my brother. So I'm going to read a poem that he's written for the homosexuals. It's beautiful. I can tell you before you start, so prepare for those tender moments in your heart. A nest spills its warm depression out, as though it were the ultimate egg, as it paces back and forth. The postage stamp, Stand up stage, cracking open into a drooling planet, happy to share its gibberish, forcing the nest to learn its language and not the other way around. The planet's laughter, forcing the nest into a grand tour, the wind rushing through its twigs, teasing them apart. Now we have the homosexuals. For those of you that know nothing about us, the homosexuals was a band started by me out of the ashes of the rejects in 1977. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy and mystery about who's actually in the homosexuals. The homosexuals is a writing vehicle for me, in much the same way that you used to have symposiums in ancient Greece and they didn't separate the left side of the right side from the right side of the brain and great philosophers could be great mathematicians. So the homosexuals are whoever I surround myself with. And these people are artists and they play my original songs better than the original junkies that I played with. Okay. <laughs> Empty, 
And anybody that's in exile in their own heart, whether for spiritual, geographical, mental or emotional reasons, when you are happy with yourself but you're out of step with the rest of the world, mmm, sad place to be until you meet other hearts in exile. But don't worry, we're out of here and that's why I make music. So we share to people, we bring you love, nothing but love. I'm a child of the 60s. I was born in 1950, yeah? So when that wonderful man Jim was at the De Democratic Convention over here, I knew all about it and I was hanging out, living in this squat with John Lennon and Yoko Ono, rolling around in a white paper bag in one room, Harry Krishnas, Hell's Angels, everybody in there. But we knew what was going on in America, yeah? I knew that the all Western popular music comes from the blues, therefore Africa, and the people that the Beatles and the Rolling Stones were ripping off, aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, black 50s R&B, yeah? All right, they couldn't even sit on a fucking bus in this country.
place I've played in my life. I love it. Songs instead of having sex, that's why there's none of them more than a minute long, eh? <laughs>
And for those of you that think I really have taken some heroin, I only impersonate it because for many years I was a junkie killing the pain. Yeah? But don't let anybody tell you that you have to be stoned to do great things. There was not being more stoned than all of you put together in this fucking room. I was professional. Yeah? And the things I do now, I'm clean. I'm dirty in heaven. Yeah. Is anybody out there with fear in their heart? You might want to... I don't know. You might want to heckle me, yeah? What are you going to say? Oh, you, broken nose, look. You can't say, oh, you baldy, because I've saved my hair with, by being macrobiotic for ten years, right? Or you could say, you old cunt! You old cunt! Go on, shake me out! You old cunt! 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 But we all know, a cunt is a beautiful thing. Ha! Two, three, four. Shaggy's wife, any time, yeah? Michelle, me and Michelle, and I'm not being disrespectful, yeah? I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> me and Michelle, I think we make a lovely couple, yeah? She likes older men, you know, so intelligent, you know? Understand about power, and you know, the real power is the power of love in the heart. See the way he looks at his children, you know? And see the way they look back, it's just that, he's God, you know? Yeah. You gotta stick with him, right? Got to work fucking really hard, now. Yeah? I had my revolution stolen in the 60s, yeah? the same as Jean did. Yeah? We're not going to let it happen again. Yeah? You've got to educate children, and you've got to let the fucking powers that be that have let them into power, right? The Illuminati. You've got to let them know if they really try and squeeze them, this country's going to fucking burn. Yeah? We're going to fucking be up in arms. We're going to burn every fucking city, right?
just so you know what was happening in England at the same time. Yeah. That song was written for an Asian drummer friend of mine. Had his throat ripped out because he looked Asian, yeah? Everybody else was white, they got the shit kicked out of them. He had his throat cut, yeah? Why not her?
I was living with Nelson Mandela, was incarcerated. I got a, along with an acid impregnated uh, t-shirt from the South African authorities. I got a letter begging me not to write any more songs about Nelson Mandela and it wouldn't let him out. They let him out, but I'm still writing songs. <laughs> so if you want to know who got Nelson Mandela out, I'm me, you know. I'm me, that. <laughs> Shows you the power of what we can do together, yeah? Me and a few trillion others, yeah? Oh, I'm so fucking excited. This is the most exciting time to be alive ever in the history of mankind. Do you realise that, yeah? And if you're an artist, you've got the means at your disposal to disseminate information, receive information, make contact with the Gandhis of tomorrow. Somewhere out there is a 12-year-old Gandhi and Martin Luther King and fucking Obama, and, yeah? Okay? They're out there. I hope there's some here tonight, yeah? Let's go. amongst ecological friends at the moment so I know you all love this because I feel everybody has got love in their heart so we're going to save some energy for the planet the next song if you appreciate Zen Buddhist meditation one hand clapping my ego doesn't need feeding okay all right one hand clapping that's enough thank you Was pop culture? Where were you born? Sorry? Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were you born? 
Where's up on? A place called Sunderland in the north of England, where nobody's got jobs. Huh? And people have been taught to expect nothing but life except eating shit that falls from the master's table. Huh? Well, I wasn't about to take that, because when I was six, I used to sit listening to the stars singing all night and watching them dance. Huh? And it nearly killed me growing up there, because these people have been taught to do their master's dirty work. And when there's somebody like Lee amongst them, there's just a visionary and an artist and that loves love and travelling on beams of light. They want to crush you, but they can't do it with love in your heart. They can't do it. So, for all your hearts in exile out there, this is why I'm still alive. Eh? All right. <laughs> seeing the picture of Obama outside, I could feel the spirit of artists, writers, refugees, my Irish fucking ancestors, you know, getting away from the persecution in Ireland, coming to a place and having a fucking hideout, and having to express themselves creatively, and if there wasn't a chance to do that, let's rob a fucking bank so we can get the money to fucking buy a pencil and paper to fucking paint something, do you know what I mean? I love this fucking place, huh?
homosexuals who've been the most amazing audience and it really means something special for me to be here in Chicago at this time. So thank you for all the older ones amongst you for keeping faith and never giving in because I've lost a lot of friends over the years to drink, drugs, bad relationships and just fucking bad politics. So I can't take this many more friends, so it's really important to look after the artists, okay? See you later. Fucking brilliant, well done. Crafted uh, JFK, you know, being wet to be brought in by the air traffic control, and the page turns into loads of runways, you know. And I was going to write a song with my old guitarist, I said, and I picked up the pen and I said, okay, first line. I just then a lion fucking jumped out from the page. I was like, no, lion, not lion, yeah. 
And straight away I had to go and get him back in the cage. I'm a writer, not a lion tamer. A serious journalist, not a serial defamer. The lines leave me from the page. Tender vocabulary tinged with rage. Let's celebrate that pearl necklace that I gave to you. Communion with our imperfections. A scent of man and woman destined to fall together on the eve of our destruction. Let's celebrate. Now I'm going to play you slow guns. Thank you. I don't want you to think that I'm a flash cunt and that I need a rodeo. It's fucking useless. That's all right. That's all right. We've got Hello? Yeah, okay. I must probably put my fingers in all the wrong places, but these guys are so cool, they'll make me sound fucking brilliant, alright? So don't worry if my fingers go all over the place. That's why, that's why I've been married three times, huh? Fingers in all the wrong places. Death of democracy, my dear. Democracy is an idea, a spirit. It's not something you bomb children in Iraq into accepting, yeah? And thank God we've got Obama, yeah? But we'll keep an eye on it, yeah? Because, you know, when the Native American Indian is not terrorized anymore, then we'll know America's really free. Okay? Thank you.